Today we are going to do the revisions. So number one, what does Allegro means? Lively and fast. This is the Italian term from the previous page that you have to memorize. Page 41. And number two, what key is the melody in? So we have B flat here. So F major has B flat. So the key will be F major. What is the time signature? This is time signature. 3, 4. How many crotted beats are there in a bar? So 3, 4, 3 crotted beats in a bar. So of course this 3. For example, this 2 equals to 1 beat, 1 beat, 1 beat. Total is 3. Now, how many times does the note B flat appear? So, the B natural is not here. One, this is also B flat because you already have key signature here. So, this is automatically B flat. So, only two times. So, up here, two times. How many times is this rhythm used? So, this is one time. Another time, this one, this one, this one, five times. How many times is this rhythm used? This one, bar two, bar four, and the last bar, three times. What is the name of the highest note used? So, middle C is the lowest, all the way highest, this one. F. What is the lowest note used? This one, middle C. What is the value of the shortest note? So definitely is this one, right? Semi coiba. Value, sorry. So one quarter count. So crotchet is one count, coiba half count, semi coiba one quarter count. What is F short for? Forte. It means loud. Also, this is from your Italian terms. Here, see? So, forte, F, loud. What degree of the scale is the last note in the melody? So, you already know that this is F major. Means F is the first degree. C will be number 5 here so you need to count from F for example F major you have F G A B flat C D E F this is one octave of course this is first note second note third note fourth note fifth note so C this is note number 5 fifth degree now, name two pairs of notes which are semitone apart. Semitone, which is one step. So, let's find here. From beginning, this same note is too far. F and E. So, E to F is one semitone. E to D is not. D to C is not. This is too far. A, D too far. D to C is not. C to B natural is. So, you only need to write B to C. And you actually don't need to write the natural sign here because there's no notes or flat before. So B is naturally B natural already. B to C and E to F. In case if you can't find these two, right? E to F, B to C, there are actually more like A to B flat. This is also another semitone. But they only ask for two. So two will be enough. Now, this one, copy out the first two bars of the melody. This is actually very easy, but be careful. You have to copy everything. Clef, and then key signature, time signature, and all the performance directions as well. This, this, all the bar line, everything. So do not miss out anything. Now, we start from the treble clef, key signature, time signature, and then allegro and now just copy neatly oh 
first bar, you will have forte here. Second bar, then finish. That's all. You can also close. Okay, so that's all for this page. Now let's move on to this page. What does crotchet equals to 80 stand for? This is also from here. So it's for your metronome. So read the number first. If it's 88, so 88. And then what type of note? Crotchet? So you write crotchet beats in a minute. So for example, if it is a minimum equals to maybe 100, then the answer is 100 minimum beats in a minute. So the number and what type of the note. Now, crotchet and 80. 80 crotchet beats in a minute. Name the key of the melody. So, also B flat, right? Same as the previous page. You only have B flat here, means it's a F major. What is the time signature? This. 4, 4. Another way to write the time signature? This one. So we have already learned this one previously. Back to the page 5. Page 5 here. 4, 4 can be written as a C and it means common time if they are asking for it. So write a rest equivalent to the last note of the melody. Last note is a minim. So minim rest, it will be this. On the third space, like this. Oops. Okay. How many times does the key note appear? So the key is F major. Key note will be F. So how many times does the note F appear? So any F note here? There's no F note in the first line. Second line, only once. So one time. How many times is this rhythm used? One, two, three. So three times. What is the shortest note used? This one, koi fu. Now, in this page, they are asking for the name. So, of course, you need to give quaver, semi quaver. Previous page, they are asking for the value. So, make sure you have to read the question carefully, especially when you are doing test paper. Sometimes it will be tricky. Now, give the meaning of this term and sign. So, they are asking for meaning, not the abbreviation um, like this. When they are asking for the meaning, you will say this part in English. But if they are asking for abbreviation, then P stands for piano and so on. Okay, now MF moderately loud. This one, although this is crescendo, but the meaning means getting louder. Diminuendo, getting softer. Piano, soft. Now, what is the name of the dot? Staccato. What that is, does it mean? Short and detached. Sort of detached. So, this one is here. Staccato. And then the meaning is here. Staccato means short detached. Now, name a pair of notes which are semitone apart. Just one pair will be enough. For example, so we need to find one by one. C to A is not. A to C, of course, is not. A to G is a tone. G to A is a tone. A to B flat. Be careful. This is B flat. Key signature. The whole B here will become B flat. So A to B flat. This is semitone apart so a to b flat same thing copy out but this is the last two bar previous page is the 
uh, was the first two bars, right? So this is last two bar, which is these two. Now, even though it is a last bar, you have to write the clef and the key signature. And of course, the time signature as well. So you know how to count, how many counts in a bar. And actually it's here, clef, key signature, time signature. So treble clef. Four, four. So although in the second line there's no four four here, but because this is the this is the beginning for you, you have to put the time signature. So G G A B flat C. There's a diminuendo here. Bar line A. G F double balloon. So finish. Now, what is the key of the melody? You have F sharp and C sharp. This is D major. Name the key signature. So just name out these two. F sharp, C sharp. What is the time signature? Three four. And what does it mean? Three crotchet bits in a bar. What are the curved line over the melody called this? This will be slur. How should they be played smoothly? How many bars are there in this melody? Eight is written here actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On which degree of the scale does the melody begin on? Begin means your first note. This note is F sharp and your key is D major. So you just count D, E, F sharp. This is the third one. Now, which degree of the scales does the melody end? Most of the time, it will be first. So D major, of course, this is the first note. Now, which bar do not contain the key note? The key is D major, means key note is D. So which bar do not contain a D? You have a D here, no D here, so bar 2. Now, there's a D here, D here, no D, bar 5. Bar 6 also no D. And these two you already have D. What does Allegretto mean? Slightly slower than Allegro. And this sign, it means pause, which you hold the note longer. Name the notes in bar 4. So, let's look at bar 4. Every single one. D, E, F sharp, be careful of the key signature. C sharp, D. So, D, E, F sharp, C sharp, and back to D. Now, write the tonic triads of the melody with key signature. So, first thing is your key signature. F sharp and C sharp. You don't need to write the time signature. It's only one triad here. Tonic triad of D major, of course, D, F sharp, A. Write a rest equivalent to the first note of the fourth bar. So in bar four, first note is a quaver, means you've got to write a quaver rest. So quaver rest, like this. Now, copy out the first two bars of the melody. Also, same thing. First two bars include all the details. Starting from the treble clef. And then you have F sharp and C sharp for the key signature. Time signature is 3-4. And then, Allegretto. There's a tempo marking here. Bar 1. F sharp. E. D. Bar line and bar two, G, F sharp, E bar line, and you have to put.
put the slur as well. So it has to be everything exactly. Okay, let's play the game. On a clear road, I drive gradually faster. Gradually faster is accelerando. So a se le rando. This is here. This one. Number two, the clown danced very lively and fast. Lively and fast is allegro. Allegro. So here. Mm -hmm. She always walked at a moderate speed. Moderate speed is andante. So where is andante? Here. Okay, so andante. The teacher is angry because the pupils are talking louder and louder. Louder and louder is crescendo. Okay, crescendo is here. Ah, cre. And no. When the battery is running out, the radio becomes softer and softer. Now we have a lot of softer and softer. Decrescendo, diminuendo. Let's see. Uh, oh, I cannot find. <laughs> it took me some time to find. Diminuendo is here. So, diminuendo. Softer and softer, we can have decrescendo, diminuendo, but okay, diminuendo is here. When I'm angry, I speak loudly. Forte, forte, here. This is forte. Okay. Forte. The old lady walks slowly. Slow is lento. It's here already. It's the example. Lento. When I'm not hungry, I eat only a little. Poco. So, poco is here. Poco. Now, I am very short and detached. Staccato. Um, staccato is here. Okay, from here to here. Okay, so staccato. Last one. This is the end. Fine. Finale. Fine. So here. Last page, crossword puzzle game. Number one, another name for F class is base class. B A S S. Let's put in B A S S. You join two quaver notes with a beam. We have this in front last time. So number two, B E A M. So. Um, let me see. Okay, this page, page number eleven. So you see two quaver. These two are the not the head. This, if only one, this is tail, and this is stem. But when you have more than one, we don't call it tail. We call it beam. So beam. Back to the last page. Singing style, cantabile. Number three here. Canta B play. Two semitones is equals to a tone. One tone. Number four here. T A Oh T O N E. Not this one. 
Now, number five, the line that joins two notes of the same pitch is called a tie. Do you remember this one? Same note next to each other. This is tie, then don't play this note. So just hold one, two, like this. Number five, where is five? Okay, here, T I E. Number six, a crotchet consists of note head and a stem. We saw the earlier, right? This is not head, this is thumb, this is tail, and this is beam. So, thumb for number six as uh, here or here, this way. F T E M. A tonic triad consists of how many notes? Of course, three. T H R. Three notes. Number seven. Okay. Now, what clef is usually meant for the right hand? For a piano, usually right hand play the treble clef, bass clef play the uh, left hand. So this will be the treble clef. So this is talking about piano. If you are playing flute or violin, of course you only have um you know one one line and usually it's treble clef but if you play other instrument like tuba then it will be a bass clef so now we're talking about piano treble clef number four what is number four me one ah here t r so this is r here e b l e treble clef number five what raise the pitch of a note by one semitone? One semitone go up one step means it's a sharp. Number six sharp. Now last as long as two crotted. So crotted plus crotted equals to one minim. Minim. Number eight, minim. Number nine, there are four what in a quarter? Of course, semiquiver. One quarter is one count, so equals to four semiquiver. One semiquiver is one quarter count. Semiquiver. Okay, don't mind my handwriting, but this match. <laughs> Number nine, say. Me, que, e, v. Ah, semi quiver. Sorry, it's a plural, right? <laughs> okay, so there are four semi quivers in a crotchet. No wonder. Okay, now the Italian word for slow, lento. L-E-N-T-O does not match. So Lento does not match. We have one more. Adagio. Adagio. Okay. So they're asking for Adagio. Number 10. Okay. Yeah. Here. Adagio. Another name for the keynote is Tonic. T O. And I see. That's why tonic triad is the three notes starting from the first note. One, three, five. This is tonic triad, right? Um, triad means three notes and tonic is the first note. So number 11, tonic. This is definitely accent. It's a sign. A number 12, A, C, C, E, N, T. Okay, two more. The distance in pitch between two different notes is called an interval. Remember this one? We have to count from the bottom to the top. So here's the interval, page 31. You have melodic interval, you have harmonic interval. So last one, F sharp is the... What signature of G major? Of course, key signature. 
the number 14 is I miss another chart in interval and number 14 last one is key so F sharp is the key signature of G major A. like this this is G major you have F sharp this is called key signature okay so we have come to the end of this book all the topics and all the exercise so make sure you revise everything especially on this table you have to memorize so page 3 and so on all, all here actually page 3 page 5 page 7 and so on all these you have to revise and then you are ready to do the test paper and after that go to the exam good luck